everybody and welcome back thank you so much for watching for those of you that don't know me my name is Bridget and for today's video we are going to be doing a like comparison this versus that kind of video and the two concealers that we are going to be comparing today are first one is the Huda Beauty concealer that the one that just came out and the second one is the Fenty Beauty Pro filter. I'm going to be doing a comparison obviously on one side of my face I'm going to be wearing the Fenty Beauty side and on the other side I'm going to be wearing the Huda Beauty one. I am really excited to be trying out both of these I am more excited about the Fenty Beauty one just because I love Fenty Beauty so much and I'm going to be blending them out with the same sponge and then I'm going to be setting them with the same powders just to make it like equal obviously I'm not going to do like a whack ass job on one side or you know on really good job on the other side so if you were looking to buy one of these concealers and you didn't know which one it was i hope this video helps you out and if you want to see which concealer i end up liking more just go ahead and keep watching so as i said in the intro today's video is going to consist of reviewing these two concealers this is the concealer by fenty beauty so this concealer just came out and i was really excited personally for this concealer because i really like the foundation I'm not really big on matte foundations, but this foundation, the one Fenty Beauty came out with, was so good. I love the way it looked on my skin, so I was definitely excited to try. This concealer is called the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. So what it claims to do, it is a creamy, long-wear, crease-proof liquid concealer with a light as air, medium to full coverage that brightens under eye and conceals blemishes and redness. I got the color 240 and I got this for under my eyes. I didn't really get it to correct anywhere around my face. Um, I do get pimples but not much, not to the point where I like have to conceal my face. I think foundation, if I do get one, it pretty much covers it up. I like how it's like a stained glass. I think that's really pretty and it feels pretty, pretty nice too. It doesn't feel cheap at all. As for the Huda Beauty one, it doesn't feel cheap but I feel like I mean, it kind of looks like a chapstick. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You know, it's just packaging. Like, I get it. The important stuff is the product, but that's just what I feel. I'm kind of excited to try this one out. I don't want to be biased, <laughs> but I'm pretty pretty excited for it. I can't lie. And then the next concealer, it's the Huda Beauty Concealer. So this concealer I have seen on so many girls' like, favorites. This is called the Overachiever High Coverage Concealer. What it claims to do, it claims to be a full coverage creamy concealer armed with skincare actives and cooling zamic tip. So this is the packaging for the Huda Beauty um, Concealer. It is in a little squeezy tube. I have the shade Cookie Dough. It's a 14 neutral. I usually always get neutral undertones for my concealer because... That's usually what matches best with me. I like a lighter um, under eye, but I don't like it too light. Like, you can look ridiculous real quick. <laughs> and then I feel like if it's too light, it doesn't really cover your under eyes. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. That's what I personally like. So this concealer is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, as well as the Fenty Beauty one. But this is the applicator. It's kind of like this metal tip. It's like a lip gloss, but just metal. And um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I've never used anything like that, so we'll see. A lot of you have actually said that this concealer took Tarte Shape Tape's place. Um, I'm not sure about all that. I love Tape Shape. I use it all the time. I use it for everything. But I am getting pretty bored of using the same concealer all the time. So that's why I went ahead and I purchased these. And then also, I feel like they came around this. They came out around the same time period. So if you're not really trying to buy both of them, obviously you want to see which one is best. So that's why I made this video. <laughs> All right. So the Huda Beauty coverage concealer it retails for thirty dollars. That's pretty big price tag for a concealer. And then the Fenty Beauty concealer retails for $26. So they're they're pretty close in um, range. I, obviously the Hakuda Beauty is a little bit more expensive, but you never know, it might be nice. You get what you pay for. I'm gonna be blending out both um, of the concealers with a beauty blender. Well, it's not a beauty blender. It's like the Chafa Beauty Blender from Real Techniques. Just so I can like, you know, tell exactly which one I like best. Cause I'm not gonna blend one with a brush and then blend one out with like, a sponge like that would be dumb <laughs> so and plus I always usually I usually always blend out my concealer with a beauty sponge so it only makes sense I'm gonna be going in with the Fenty Beauty concealer first and I got this in the shade 240 as I already mentioned hopefully they match because I ordered them online okay wow So 
so you know i'm gonna go <laughs> i would i use a lot of concealer so that's what i'm gonna be going in with for the fenty beauty side and then for the huda beauty one i'm gonna be go ahead and go in Add a little bit more concealer to the side just to make sure it's even okay so the Huda Beauty one is a little lighter than this one but like that has nothing to do with the concealer that has to do with the color I chose so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my damn beauty blender and start blending it out me personally I don't just like to go straight in and blend my concealer I like to work on the edges first and really bring them like back and get the side of my nose and just make sure the edges are nice and blended in with the foundation and then once the edges are nice and blended I feel like you know it's good enough I'll go ahead and I'll go in closer to my actual eyeball all right so I went ahead and I blended it out I zoomed you guys in so you can see it a little better so, I mean, my under eye, my wrinkles <laughs> under my eyes are definitely pr pretty prominent. Um, I still have to set the concealer, but I feel like that doesn't really bother me just because um, I feel like everybody has like wrinkles under their eyes or around their eyes unless you're like two years old. <laughs> and if you're two years old, you shouldn't be wearing makeup. So that doesn't really bother me. I feel like if I set it, it'll look fine. It's pretty high coverage. It's not like, but I feel like I can still kind of see my dark circles. I have very, very prominent un dark under eyes. So that's really important for me. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels actually pretty light. It doesn't feel like I have a lot on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend out this side now. And I'm going to see how this. Oh, no. Ooh, girl. Okay. Alright guys, so this is me um, blending the concealer out. Definitely, definitely Huda Beauty is way more full coverage. It's definitely harder to blend out. Uh, as I was working with the concealer, I could definitely tell it was like one of those concealers that as soon as you put on, you have to blend it right away or you'll get what happened to me. As you saw, I tried to blend it and it was just kind of like... So I don't feel like that's... I mean, that's not a problem. You just have to learn how to work with it. But definitely, it is a lot more thicker than the Fenty Beauty one. Uh, the Fenty Beauty one is more of an everyday kind of concealer where the Huda Beauty is like like that bitch te cura hasta los pecados dude damn <laughs> like there is a lot i mean it's a lot of full coverage which i don't mind because you know i'm a full coverage kind of biatch i don't like what's that one that everybody was like the becca luminous i think it was something like that i have it here Hold this is the um this is the becca aqua luminous perfecting concealer and desi perkins recommended this so i went ahead and bought it and i did not like it i i think you know what it is i'm the kind of girl either i'm wearing hella makeup like you can't even recognize me or i wear none so like that whole like in between thing is just not what i do like i rather just not wear anywhere i rather just not wear any makeup at all and you know go bare face then like do the whole half ass in between thing i'm looking at the under eyes now and i do have a little bit of creasing but not as much as this side so i'm really trying to get in there and blend these out i'm gonna go ahead i'm going to set my under eyes i always go in with the laura mercier powder and i just um bake while i set the rest of my face and i will be back as soon as i'm done bye <laughs> in the morning we've been going and going back and forth 
Cause we don't know better And I thought we'd be different Yeah, we were on to some good shit We keep dancing with the devil But he doesn't have a back door Should be pulling away from the fire Should go, but I don't even try Gone in the deep end tonight Tonight, tonight I just wanna love ya I just wanna love ya so I did the rest of my makeup um you know I'm pretty surprised I can't lie I came into this whole thing thinking I totally was gonna like the Fenty Beauty one way better but I like the um Huda Beauty one more yeah definitely like the Fenty Beauty one it's like crazy more it's not as full coverage as the um Huda Beauty the Huda Beauty is obvious it obviously still creases because I have wrinkles under my eyes but it's not nearly as bad as the Fenty Beauty one and it's way more full coverage it looks way smoother under my eyes than the Fenty Beauty one so that's really surprising I guess you never know I was like oh yeah I'm gonna like the Fenty Beauty one way better like no I actually think well if I think on more of a regular going out basis which is like pretty much the only time I wear makeup <laughs> I like the Huda Beauty one better than the Fenty Beauty and I think I even like the Huda Beauty better than um, the Tarte Tape Shape surprisingly since I've been using that one since like El Ano del Caldo I never use another concealer I really I really like the Huda Beauty one and I like it so much better than my Fenty Beauty one I'm still gonna use my Fenty Beauty one because obviously I bought it <laughs> I'm gonna use it but I think on more special occasions I'm gonna go for the Huda Beauty one because it's just so pretty like I understand why everybody was gassing up this concealer like damn it's nice so if you are definitely wondering which one you want to buy which one do you think is worth it I would go for the Huda Beauty one unless you're just like an everyday girl who wants like an everyday concealer then I think Fenty Beauty one definitely Huda Beauty like killed it like this concealer is really good I understand why everybody loves it now I wasn't about to jump on the bandwagon because like I as I said I tried the I tried the aqua luminous concealer and I was like damn this sucks <laughs> this sucks like ass so after that I was like no nah, I'm not gonna try the concealer I'm just gonna stick to Tarte Shape Tape but you know what I need to branch out and start using more things and I'm definitely glad that I picked this up because it is so good the Fenty Beauty one is good too don't get me wrong but like this one is definitely better and so the price difference is definitely worth it if you're looking for a bomb ass concealer that you want to wear like you know ow we want to hide everything i would go for this one <laughs> all right guys so that's gonna be all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys are on the fence on either or i hope this video helped you make your decisions and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>